Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Birth of the Empires. This is a free 4X space game being developed by Blotunga. Originally inspired and, and built as sort of a, a predecessor to Birth of the Federation, which was a Star Trek-style Master of Orion game came out back, I think, in the 90s is when that came out. And uh, it's sort of come on to its own now since uh, in its its years of development. Uh, it's, it's no longer Star Trek associated, obviously, um, and it's it's sort of a, just another 4X space strategy game that is completely free. I'll put a link below and you can check it out. It's available on itch.io. It's also available on Androids, not Apple. Uh, this one is, I mean, there's still things in here that you can tell are very Android-centric on uh, on this itch version. But let's go ahead and try it out and see what it's all about. I was always a big fan of Birth of the Federation when it first came out. I'm a big Star Trek fan. Uh, I was always a fan of Master of Orion, so it's a nice blending of the two. We've got other races out there. We've got like minor races that we can trade with or, or dominate uh, within the galaxy. But uh, anyway, let's choose our race here. We have the Federation. We've got a few recognizable folks in here. The Rotharian Star Network. Very cool thing, though. Even with a game like this, is each of these all have like different soundtracks. They have different sort of layout of how the uh, just how the screen looks. Right, the Federation, everything's happy and cheery and and and, and wondrous. And then you go to something like the uh, like the Klingons, and everything is everything's very angry with these guys. Let's go with. Um, I was gonna play just the Federation just for. All right, we'll do this. One. I always played as the as the the Romulans when I played um, uh, Birth of the Federation, but we'll stick with the uh, the Happy Federation this time. Just because it's a it's a quick look at the game. All right, so let's choose our galaxy style. We can go with how big the galaxy is. We can go how tall it is. We can pick giant galaxy if we want. With all kinds of all these stars within the stars are loads of uh, of um, planets, obviously within within those stars as well. Change the shape of the galaxy as well. We can go spiral. Spiral's cool. We can do it's a ring. There's that one. There's island one, which is kind of cool. All right, let's go with the uh, the spiral one. And difficulty normal is fine. We'll go with uh, random events. Sure, there's minor races in the game that just sort of hang out, sort of Civ Five style. They just sort of hang out and and just kind of be annoying. And our trade partners, um, we can also put in different win conditions. These are all on. It says disabled, but they're all on. Um, we can turn them all off if we want. And just have a complete sandbox game and never have an end to it. I guess if we wanted to. Let's jump in here. All right, so we have built our world. It's kind of a tiny world, but it's decent sized. We are here in Terra. All these planets should look familiar. We own all of these. There is no individual planet colonizing. It is the whole thing or nothing at all. Uh, and you can see, well, there's Mars. There is Earth. It's got max population of 21 billion. There's 9 billion right now. It has all these different resources on it that we will be using later on. Uh, no one lives on Mercury. No one on Jupiter, obviously. Um, we also have some ships orbiting around uh, Terra here, we've got Sputnik, or these are Sputnik class. We have a USS Galaxy, the Blackbird, these are uh, probes that we can send out to different systems, like over here to Rosas, and we'll send another one over here, the Blackbird, we'll head over here to uh, Bereniki, and we'll send the uh, the USS Hanzu, which is a colony ship, if I can click it correctly, over here to Kelnor. Okay, so now within the system, now, uh, we can go into into system map. Now, in the system, you can see there is the fields of Earth. We have farms here. We have, you can see we have 11 farms. Six of them are being worked on. Nine factories, five of them being worked. We can see that all right in here as well. We want more food. We can take someone off a of university, put it in the food. We're making more food now. We have plenty in, in the warehouse, so no need for that right now. Um, we uh, This is my labor pool, the yellow blips. And we can build more things. We, actually, we want more farms. We can build them here. We want more universities. Let's make a couple of those just to have some universities around. We can make ships, of course, if we want. The Farscape class, huh? Scout, yes. Um, we also have, let's see, there's my structures I saw, but I was just showing off. We have a space dock out there. And trade we'll get to eventually, but not just yet. Um, yeah, so there's the system of, of, of humans. That's what that is. Um, we can see it out here, too. System of Terra, everyone's happy. A little short on food, but they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Uh, no military. Well, I guess we have the ships out there. And let's go back to this, the galaxy, and to the research tab. This one plays out, I think this is how Birth of the Federation did it too. I'm pretty sure it is. But this is very uh, Master, of, Master of Orion 1 style where it's like a percentage thing. We just choose a tech tree, and we get the tech in that tree. So if we want more food kind of things, biotech, we can put more points into that to get better farms. Uh, we want to learn how to fly further. We can go to propulsion tech to give us like a better reach 
in the stars. Let's go something like, I think I need more food for these guys. Another thing, these guys all start with different things. Interesting. I was playing around with the Romulans on my test game, and we started with two colony ships and a scout, and uh, we didn't have a food problem. But yeah, it all it plays differently with depending on who you pick. So I think we're good to go. Let's end the turn. We can see different things over here if you want to see, like, um, star systems. That's friends. That is, I don't know what that one is. We'll just do that one. Then we can see our, our space that we control over here. Uh, next turn. Contact has been made. We have found the Kelnorians. They have a dog kennel, apparently. Research data for their advanced bioweapons lies deep underground in the capital's armory vaults. A secure facility offers a chance for a new innovative... New innovation that could someday win a war. Hmm. All right, so we've met these guys. These guys have no properties. Regularly developed. Normally it says, like, you know, peaceful or, or scientific or something. These guys are just a bunch of... <laughs> no no personality. We built a university in the Terra system. Worker shortage. Yeah, we saw that. We have established contact with the Kelnorians. So, Kelnorians in the homeworld of Kelnor. They uh, they don't really know us just yet. They led a long time war against the Kel... Against the Kelnor. So yeah, these guys, we can get a whole story about these guys. We can go if we want to and say, hey, let's say we'd be friends, right? We're the friendly federation. Let's be buds. We could send cash with them if we want to, like, you know, try to ease them into the uh, the agreement. But, you know, for now, we'll just say, hey, let's be buds. Buds. And they are over here in this system here, which is where I set my colony ship, isn't it? Yes, it is, obviously. Um, we also went to Rosas over here. That My scout has arrived here. I don't know if I can click things right. And we can see all the plants. We have to kind of run through here and see what we have. So a couple of these are terrible. That one's max population of 3.5 billion, which is terrible. This is a very colorful planet, which is not uninhabitable. It's a gas supergiant. We have... This one's not too great, and this one's kind of terrible as well. So we found a really terrible system. And, uh... Mm -hmm. So let's go do some more scouting, I guess. Uh, hey you, Sputnik. Go, uh, go head over this way. And... Oh, we're at the corner of the map, aren't we? Okay, and he's going to head over, over here. So the, uh, the... The colors. Yellow is as far as my colony ships can go. Red is as far as my sh my scouts can go. So we're working on getting... Uh, hmm. Maybe we should work on this one to get better reach with our ships. That's what the tutorial tells me to do. It tells me to get this one first. There's a tutorial right here, which is very just a wall of words. Um, yeah, let me just crank the... Oh, hmm. Let's get this done first. Right? Because we're starving here. Yeah, we want more food. We could put more people on the food, but if I could just get better farms, then I don't have to do that. I don't know. Maybe I should, maybe I should do the other one. All right, all right. All right, tutorial, you win this time. I'm going to go ahead and do it. So we'll put some points into this continuum drive. I can put a little bit in here, though. Something like that. 12% into there. That'll work. Okay. So let's go into the next turn here. So we have offered the Kelnorans a trade agreement. They have enough population for a new trade route, which we'll see in a, in a minute. If they accept my trade agreement, they will see that. And university is completed in the terrorist system, which we can't really... I mean, we can work it, but we're kind of wasting our time here on this thing. Maybe what we should do is get rid of that and make a... Let's make this extractor. I don't really know what it does. We should make a barracks, too. That seems reasonable. Um, we can make more ships, too. Do we want to like, a scout? Let's crank a scout in there, too. We could buy these things if we want to spend some cash on it. 580 bucks. We got 1,000 bucks. Um, no, no, I don't want that one first. I want a scout first, and then a barracks, and then an extractor. We'll use that barracks, you know, maybe in case these, uh, these Kelnorians aren't as friendly as, as we want them to be. Uh, how is this system over here? A bunch of tiny planets. Um, lots of resources, well, some resources around. They're acceptable, I suppose. Let me go see if we can find something up here in this system right here. Head over there. Uh, you call any ship. I need you to move and go this way. We're, we're going to be... I guess one of these two is going to be the ones we want. Maybe Vega. Their diplomatic messages hey, they accepted our agreement. All right. This delights the people. Right. Everyone loves this because we just love things being the Federation. We can see our, our military here. Our status, how we're doing. We are number one in science. We are... Our, our top three planet systems is, is Earth. And there's a victory conditions there. Um, okay, so now that we have buddies, let's say, let's go, uh, let's go be buddies with these guys. You can see info on them. We saw that before. We can, we can go and do a trade deal with them. Let's go to trade. Um, not this one. We want trade. Empire, I think trade. Uh, I forget what this one is. Um, I forget. Is it in, I forget where it is, but there's a trade button somewhere. I forget where we go for it. Uh, trade. There it is. 
Okay, let's set up a trade route. So we can set up one trade route and two resource routes with this system. It's big enough to handle that. Trade route works just like any other Forex strategy where we just set it up and it'll slowly start bringing cash in. Resource routes will bring in... Um, we'll bring in... Uh, res well, we can trade resources, right? Say there's one, one system is making a whole bunch of titanium. We want to send it to somewhere else, then that's how we do a resource route. So... That's going to give them some money and give us some money, more importantly, and make them happier as well. Here is the Karay system, which is bad. Uh, not too great. And not too great. Wow, this is a kind of a terrible start. Uh, what do we have over here? The Vega 4. It looks like a barren one. we got a gas giant we can't live on. We have $13 billion for that one. It's not too terrible. Growth is pretty okay. What was this one over here? I mean, it's a lot of, like, little terrible planets. It's going to take a long time to terraform these. So, okay, so this is how this works with terraforming. Let me explain this, I suppose. See, there's a terraforming value over here, 61p, 22p. In order for us to live on these planets, we can't just walk on here and, and live, right? These are terrible places. But we, we can potentially have 5 billion people there if we terraform this place so that we can live on it, right? You know, oxygen and all that. So what we'd have to do is come in with our colony ships. There's one right here. Um, and we can come in and terraform each of these planets. Like this one takes 14 days, but we can eventually turn it into a planet that we can live on. Five days for that one, seven days for that one, or uh, 15 days and 11 turns for that one. So we can eventually get there. Man, what a terrible start. All right, uh, I want you to head over to this way. Where are you going? Where aren't you? Oh, you can't go outside. That's, that's outside the red. Okay. Uh, go down here, I guess. And then, I don't know where to send you. You, um... You buddy, go uh, go hang out over here. We'll get some we'll get some research very soon, right? Thirty five percent, maybe. Maybe. Okay, we can see the trade. I think in here. Uh, where was that at trade route? So we can start seeing. Oh, I set it up already. Um, we haven't made any profit yet, so we'll get some profit eventually. But we have the trade route set up for Kelnor. It maintains one trade route. Okay. Um, 54%. So it's it's moving. It's moving. There is also a special research projects that we can do. I don't know where that comes in, when that shows up. Uh, we can also design different ships if we want as well. We have the... Uh, we can't, I guess we can't do any adjustments to this Fox class, but say we want to make a uh, transport, we can change it to better hull, or better hull, or no shields, or weaker... You know, that kind of thing. Or, or weaker shields on our, tra on our, our uh, colony ships if we want. That's how that works. Um, all right, all right, next turn. Let's go see what we can do here. We got the uh, colony ship will be there in a couple turns. We have found ourselves a nebula over this way and a, another system here. Mm. Okay, okay. So colony ship, I want you, multi-turn, I want you to start terraforming. Select I want you to terraform. Now oh, it takes 14 turns. This one has a duranium bonus. Right, you see the duranium there. Uh, this one I think was the best one, right? Adaptable. It's barren. Adaptable. This one's purple, which is fancy. Young but large world surfaces are still solidifying. Let's take the one that's quickest. 15 turns. What were you? You were 5 turns. Okay, we'll take this guy. Okay. It only holds 2 billion people. Mm. Growth rate's terrible. But we'll get it done. We'll get it started. We'll go terraform the rest of it, maybe, and we'll, we'll see what we can... We'll, we'll just get it started. So we're working on this planet here in a few turns. It'll be terraformed. It's 19% right now. So they're slowly trying to terraform this thing to make it habitable. Um, oh, I can reach these. Why didn't I send my guys down here? And you go here. And you go this way. So, again, this is this is like made for mobile devices. So you can... Uh, you can. It's all like touch and that sort of how it works. Um, okay, I think... How are we doing research? Research normal. 92. So next turn we'll have it. A new okay. technological development has been completed. Excellent. Continue a drive, which just makes us go faster. We don't want that one. We want... I think it's level 3 is what we want, actually, to get the bigger range. So we'll get there. Uh, old Posterior here has an M-class planet. That's what we want. 24 billion max population. All these resources on it, that's where we want to live. Nobody's here. There's, man, this place is really good. 18 billion. That's finally. And look at this shiny one. Uh, we can't live there, though. So that's that's we're marking that one down. We want to live there. Let's go scout over there. Uh, I'm going to send you're the, the other. Oh, we only have the one colony ship, right? Um, I can't. The problem is I can't reach down here because I don't have the range to do that. Right? You can only go in this way. So 
we'll have to wait until I wonder if, I wonder if I didn't try this before. Hang on a minute. Let's say we go into here and we say no oh, good food's looking okay well you guys are using a lot of food um let's see um if i go to my ship design my colony ship can i make you i can only do shields i can't do like any new fuel cells yet we have to learn that still okay i want you to be weak no, no point in having shields on you all right um Go next turn here. So we've got a couple new systems here. We've got a couple of giants, uh, but nothing really colonizable. That one's pretty good. That one's pretty good. Uh, nice desert one. No, no, it's all a bunch of gas giants. Zorak. Ooh, that's a good one. That one's slow going, and that one's. And you can see the resources. We'll eventually need those resources. You can see them in here, what the symbols mean, and what we can get out of them if we start growing here. This one, I guess, has. Uh, this colony has the ability to start making some. Deridium, I guess. Some options there to make it. Sometimes there's an option to make a deridium mine. Maybe I need to research for it. Um, all right, so uh, so we get these guys. They they seem to like us. Acceptance is zero percent, whatever that means. But I can say like maybe go with cooperation, where with military cooperation, a membership, have them join the federation, give them a gift, friendship, a uh, friendship treaty, alliance treaty. Uh, no, I think we're good. We can also trade things. If, um, if we want, but no, we're good. Okay, next turn. There's my, my, the Farscape is here. Okay. I'm going to send you over to, now we can go kill these guys. Another thing we could do. Affirmative. Let's just head over this way. Something we could easily do. Look, this is a nice M-class planet. There's 15 billion of them. There's 1 billion there. We could just walk in there. Now, how we would do that is head over here. In this system... Right, we're showing things off today. So let's show some things off. So in uh, Terra here, we could say we're building a barracks next turn. Right, it'll be here next turn, I think. It'll be here in one turn. Okay. So once that barracks gets built, we'll start making some troops. Start loading those troops up onto a transport ship and head over there and do some transport things. I think that's what we're going to do. Terraforming is complete in the Bereniki system. Barracks is also completed. So I want you to start working on... There's the extractor. I knew I made one. Uh, cancel that. I want to start making some troops. Security forces. Yeah, make me a few of these guys. Start cranking these things out, because we're going to start loading them up onto a ship, which is this transport ship right here. It takes forever to make that thing. Okay. Uh, do I not have the ability to... I don't have enough iridium to make that ship. Well, maybe we won't be doing that, but I wanted to go kill somebody. All right, well, never mind. Alright, so colony, you are done doing your colony thing. Now what we can do is we can come in here, we can colonize right now. Or we can do some more terraforming, which Select I think we should. Planet for terraforming. We're going to grab... What was the one? Hang on. Let's grab this big guy, I guess. Well, let's grab this purple one because it's cooler and it has crystals. Let's terraform Select that purple guy. For terraforming. Okay. I'm going to end the turn a little bit here. Make things pass. We should have research coming in very soon. 85. We probably should handle, uh, put an end to those uh, those troops we're trying to make to go kill people. Now, there is no, it's just a quick um, screen pops up whether you win or lose. There is no, uh, you know, tactical battle or anything like that. It just pops up, says you won, you lost, that kind of thing. I haven't done ship battle yet, ship combat. That's how ground combat works, though. Let's do next turn. A new technological development has been completed. There we go. Has it expanded our research any? Our research, uh, there we go. Well, it, it expanded our scouts, but not our um, our our colony ships any. Well, we can go scout out though at least. Head over here. You buddy, go over here. And uh, now I guess I could come in here if I wanted to be a jerk and say combat order. Start fighting these guys. I don't think you actually have any ships because you're a scout. You're, you're a scout. You don't do any sort of fighting yet. I don't think I have any tech to really do any fighting either. These Federation folks are kind of weak. They don't start with anything cool. And I can't really build anything else. I can... Let me see here. Can I do anything for you? I can build a scout, but I can put... I can put a, a torpedo and a launcher on there, I guess. Is 
type 6 laser emitter. I can give it titanium double hole. Make it with shields. Let's do that. Okay, so now when I go into here, I'm short on food, and I make this thing, it's going to be the one, the right one, right? Beam weapon, torpedo weapons, shields, yeah. Make a real one, like a real ship. Oh, we're short on food. People are dying. We have 10 free labor units because we're just sitting around building ships instead of farms. Okay, let's build, <laughs> let's build a couple, let's get a couple farms made real quick, real quick, so people stop, stop dying in the streets. All right, and uh, and you're still colonizing. Okay, uh, no, you stay there. Contact has been made oh, with an alien culture. the Bone Rans. So these guys are financial. They have toll booths and they have an intergalactic trade union. Okay, so we can say hello. Where are you guys at? Down this way. You guys are pretty big. You got 22 billion people living there. You got 12 billion living over here. You got all kinds of folks laid around. All right, all right. Well, I would love to go kill you. I knew I should have picked the Klingons. Let's go over here. Affirmative. Okay. And Hamal. Eh, that, one, that one's decent, I guess. It's just a lot of planets in it. 17 billion on that one. Extra resources around here. That one's glowy. Why don't you go up here to Nopa? How's this going? How much longer? 90%. Almost done. Terraforming has been completed. Done. Okay, let's colonize a planet. Forget terraforming anything else. Let's do it now. Colonize. There we go. So it's going to take that system out, and it'll, we will own this system. Obviously, these aren't terraformed yet, so no one's going to live there yet. But we can come in, I think, later and do it. I think we can later. And colonize that thing. Um, we can set up some diplomacy with the new folks. These uh, these guys who are uh, uh, financial, right? So let's trade with these guys. And trade agreement with him. Hey, you guys. How do you feel about us? What if we... Um, what about friendship? Hey. Hey. What do you say? This system in the name of the coalition of planets. Oh man, like a bunch of elves. All right, there we go. We are living on this planet now. Uh, congratulations, we now have our first interstellar colony. People are so happy. They celebrate plus three. They're so happy. The uh, the Bonnerans have ex I've offered it. They haven't accepted it yet, and I've offered the one to the to those guys. We made a farm on Terra. Uh, no one's Terra's still starving. Uh, the new place, though, we need to give. Can I rename your name? Rename you? No. Um, I want you to have... You're probably going to need some farms. So let's get you a couple farms made. And we'll get some factories made so we can make some things in a couple universities and be a titanium mine. Something like that. That's alright, I think. Um, yeah. Okay, next turn. What is this thing? Neutron star. There are diplomatic messages pending. So the Bonerans have agreed to the trade agreement. Everyone's delighted. The Kelnorans, uh, I agree with that one too. Everyone just loves being so happy around here. Primitive farm has completed the terror system. People should not be starving anymore. We're still starving. Uh, where's that uh, research going? How are we doing here? We are at 22%. So we got a little wise. Once that gets done, though, we will be able to see more of the galaxy. Apparently, I need to go. I, I haven't seen any. Well, I guess it's. I made my map a, map a little big, I guess. A new technological development oh. has been completed. There we go. Type 1 automated farm. So we can come in here now into this system in Terra and say, um, why don't you build me a upgrade my farms to Type 1 automated farms? After that Farscape class is done, of course, because you gotta go kill people. Okay, now you have just been scouting out here. What if you come. Can you go here? What's in this system here? Nice fancy class in planet. Why don't you go to Vega? Oh, destroyed by the neutron star. Oops. Oops. <laughs> don't go to neutron stars. Okay. Worker shortage in that system. We are building farms though, so it should be getting better. Um, we got a couple more to go. I can say no universities. Put them on the farm so we can get some food. We have plenty of storage, so it's not really that important, I don't think. Never mind. Get back where you're going. Uh, this is being managed by the manager. I can, which I can disable if I want, but it's it'll be fine. Okay, research. How's we going? Ninety-seven percent for that. Everyone's happy. Everyone loves me. We can you trade if we want? But we're not going to. Uh, let's end this turn. Okay, look at our blue square has grown. Excellent. Vega is looking uh, looking. Lots of a lot of resources over there. Okay. Meet up with this. Meet up with this guy. Worker shortage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
famine in the terror system. Huh? Oh, we're out of food. Oh, oh, um, but I want to build a ship. Just, just stop eating things for a minute. I want to build a ship. I can't buy you, can I? I can buy the ship. How much? 100 bucks. Okay, I'll buy the ship. And then we'll buy the farm next turn. Scout has left the shipyard in the terror system. Excellent. We have a new ship. The Gettysburg is here. We're going to send it into this system. Okay. Next turn. I forgot to buy the... Whoops. In terror, we're going to buy this farm. And everyone's going to be happy. 300 bucks. We got plenty of it. Uh, we got two ships there now. I still can't make because I don't have enough deuterium, right? That's the thing I needed. And does my other system have deuterium? You? Any of these planets have it? Titanium mine. None of these have... None of these, none of these do? You do. It's that one, right? The black and the... Yeah, you do. We just don't know how to mine it, I guess, yet. So it's kind of important. We should probably get on that. Uh, we'll have it next. So next time we'll have food coming in. Farm is now done. Famine should be going away, right? Plenty of food now. Farms have gotten good. People are eating good now. Okay, good. Now uh, let's get off trade goods and start making some things that are useful for us, like maybe another farm, some factories, and get that extractor made. I wish I could move it up here. I can't though. Extractor and some factories. There we go. Okay. Research is cranking along. And so now we can take these two guys. I don't think we can do anything with them just yet. But I can say... Let's see, I forget how to put these guys into a, into a fleet. But I can give you a combat order. Oh, I can't give it to you. You, I can give a combat order. Well, no, because we're not at war with anybody. Fleet view, here we go. So I can move you and the... Yeah, sure, get, everyone get in there. Gettysburg is the flagship, I guess. Well, it was. And... Okay. So now what? Go uh, go back. Okay, so now in the fleet, I want... Autoexplore? No, I want... Mm, can't really do anything. I guess it was not a war with these guys. But if we could declare war, let me just try this. Uh, hey, you guys, remember how we were best friends? But we hate you now. Okay. I'm like a, I'm like a Civ 1 civilization. All right. Their diplomatic well, Civ 6, men. even. <laughs> Declare war on the Kelnorians. Everyone is mad. Majority of the citizens feel that in betraying the Kelnorians, we have betrayed our own people. Minus 9. All right. Farm is completed in the terror system. We lost a trade route in the terror system. I probably could have got them to, like, join me. But we're going to see what we can do here. I don't have a transport, so I can't attack them like I want to. We can... I guess I can't... I guess because I don't have any... Oh, attack system. There we go. Okay. Attack that system. Now. In Terra. Apparently we do have some military here, right? We just need to get... Well, we made those, didn't we? We just need to get the ability to make a, um, a transport. Which we can't do. Okay. How's the research looking? 72. Looking good. We have no way of making anything that has... You. Unless I make you... Oh, oh, that's what I... Oh, I had set up... Oh, okay. I think I know what I did. I want a titanium hull. No shields. So now, we go to our system. Can I make one now? This is it, right? Yeah. I can make one now. Forget the factories. Make that thing. Buy that thing. 1200 bucks? Buy it. Okay. Next turn. Civilian population of the counter system is shocked by the bombardment and demands a definite end to the violence. So no one was destroyed. We killed, well, we killed like 80 people. So I'm sure that's how that rounds off. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So now, let's go here. The Belfast is here. Belfast, I want you to transport, load up some troops. Carry two, 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 uh, two troops, which is all you can carry. Two security forces. All right. Now, on the map screen, I want you to fly here and get ready to kill. It's such happy music for what's about to happen here. Okay, they've been bombed. They are they can't believe what's happening. Yeah, it's terrible. Now, we... Uh, I promise, I'm just doing this, I'm just doing this as, as an example. <laughs> 
Uh, can I go into fleet view and add this guy in? Okay. Now, back out here, and I want to go here. EY's kind of crazy. Uh, and I want you to... So you're already attacking the system. I can tell you to trans... No, not transport. We're all attacking the system, so we should take it this turn. Well, we'll, prob we'll probably lose. There's a lot of people there. Our invasion troops were bloodily repelled by the enemy forces. The system remains in its control. The strongman for the time being. We need more... Technological development has been completed. We need more troops. But there we go. Uh, we killed 3.2 million... A uh, billion people in that attack. We lost two troops. Okay. But, uh... There we go. We've expanded our borders now. We can come and get this system here, which is what we want to do. We'll build a colony ship and head over there. Anyway, this is Birth of the Empires. It's for free. I'll put a link below and you can check it out. It's also available on Android phones if you have an Android phone. I'll see you next time.